gentlemen, let's do scores. Let's do scores for Punisher 2004. And I will start with Ethan. I'm very interested to hear what you have to say Ooh. about this movie. I'm interested to hear what you say, Ben. Oh, can I, you say I, your score I first? Can, I can. Oh, you want me to say? I want to hear your first? score first. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Because no? that will purposely make ours lower to counteract. <laughs> yeah, that's. I've I already got my say, score locked I was, in. Yeah, I was going to so say that. Here, I've got my score locked in. Ethan, what do you have to say about so, Punisher 2004? Like I said, this movie starts off really good. It's super compelling in the beginning. And then it just after the family dies, it loses all its steam. And I don't think it ever recovers. Mm-hmm. Nothing really interesting happens after that point. And the ending is kind of fun when you see him actually get his punishment on the same family. But it's not rewarding enough, in my opinion, to have made the last hour I sat through worth it. And so for that, I mean, I think I like this better than Hulk. But I'm Ooh. not sure. The, what did I give Hulk last? You week? gave Hulk a five. So I will give this a five point two. You like this more than Hulk? I like it. I, I do. I think it's a little better than Hulk. Mm. Yeah. Five point two. Yeah. All right. Well, five point two for Ethan, Micah. I did not like this movie. I thought that it was uh, at times more boring than Daredevil. Mm. Uh, I thought there were characters or. Most of these characters are not developed. Not I didn't like the acting. I didn't like the emotion that they put in their voice because uh, there wasn't much, especially with John Travolta. I don't think that is he was the right choice for um, uh, Howard Saint. Howard Saint, yeah. Howard Saint. Um, so there were more things in this movie that I didn't like than what I did like. Okay. And with that, I will put it as my second sub five movie at a 3.5 3.5 i did not like oh this movie God. i would never watch it again what's the other sub five movie I uh daredevil 4.8 okay so this is the lowest movie i thought it was eight. significantly worse than daredevil i might watch daredevil again to laugh at it but not in a way where i'd watch it for like to okay so in wow. your opinion this is the worst movie we've seen so this far. is the worst movie okay. we've seen so far Wow. All right. We're going to be very split on this movie. I'm interested to see what the average is. Mm -hmm. But guys, this is absolutely our most split film so far. I really liked it. Ethan was right down the middle of the road. And you know, you know and the, the critics and audience was also split, too. Yeah, they were. I got that pulled up. Critics uh, gave Metacritic a, was a 33. Yeah. Rotten Tomatoes critic was a 29. 29. And then audience, Rotten Tomatoes was a 63. Nice. With IMDb also being at a 6.4. That's good. I, I'm with those people. I'm actually more than those people, actually. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, so this movie for me ticked a lot of the right boxes. I think it was emotional where it needed to be. I thought Thomas Jane was just watch this fantastic. On a good day or something. <laughs> I but maybe I did. So the big thing I really also really liked about this movie is the music by Carlo Ciliato. The, the I'll, give it, I'll give it the music fan. was Fantastic, and maybe that's part of it too. Because I'm not gonna lie, I thought the bad music was movies, good, but it didn't fit. So bad movies with good music, I tend to like more just because mm. the music is there, and that's all I listen to. The music in this movie is epic. I love that. I think there's so much to like about this movie. I disagree with you, you guys. The friends and the dynamic in the relationship with the apartments only built up his character and made the ending so emotional. And I also really liked Howard Saint and his ending with how he dealt with everything. And then also Thomas Jane as the Punisher. His one-liners, his emotion, I think he sells it all. And the ending is great when he commits suicide, but then he doesn't. He saves himself with the memories. We've talked about it already. And then his statement of intent throughout this, the reciting of the Latin. They, the villains need to know who I am. This isn't vengeance. This is punishment. I think that is one of the coolest lines in all of the movies that we've watched so far. And the ending on the bridge is so, so good. And with that, I rated it and as I did when I watched it, I gave it this score, and I am keeping with this score, and it is an eight. An Ooh. eight. Tied with my top movie so far with Spider-Man. You think Spider-Man. this is just as good as Spider-Man? I almost rated it better than Spider-Man, and then I knew you guys would have a conniption, so I put it on the same level. An eight. 
Yeah, we might have to stop it right here. Oh my god. I'd have to cut this, oh this episode. We might have to be able to air this one. Okay, all right, that's another thing. All right, so I thought this. This is my opinion. Yep. I've clearly yep. laid out my reasons for, for respect, it. Full respect, full right? respect. I can see, I like, I can see how people would like this movie. I can see that. I, like, I, I really did like this movie. And, like, IMDb agrees with me, man. Well, they don't agree that much with you. They? Well, they definitely do. The the, mo the most well, amount of reviews so on that was how often do you leave a review for a movie unless if it's really good or really bad? You ever leave a, a well, review for a movie? Well, that's what that's what I'm saying. Eight? If if the people who are leaving reviews, there is a cult following for this mm. movie. Like a lot of people, a small amount of people really like this movie. I consider myself a part of them. I what's, give it an eight. What's the Rotten Tomatoes consensus with? This mm, that's movie? a good question. Look Let that me up. See. Uh, well, anyway, first of all, Micah gives it a 3.5, Ethan with a 5.2, and I give it an 8.5. That is your scores for Punisher 2004. Which gives us our our average score of 5.56. Five,